We are living in the midst of an information revolution that is changing how we communicate, shop, do business, and make friends. It's also changing warfare. The U.S. military was a first mover in information technology in the 1970s and 80s, leveraging the microprocessor revolution to develop innovations such as stealth, the global positioning system, and precision-guided weapons. Today, those technologies are proliferating to adversaries who are using them to create anti-access capabilities that challenge the U.S. military's ability to project power. Even as the United States responds to this challenge, it must also posture itself to dominate in the next phase of the information revolution. We're seeing tremendous advances in information technology. Artificial intelligence, autonomy, robotics, and networking are all moving forward at an exponential pace. Many of these advances are coming from outside the defense sector. You could buy a drone online for about a thousand bucks that can navigate, follow moving objects, and avoid obstacles all on its own. U.S. military drones can't do that. That's not because defense companies can't build them, but because our acquisition system can't keep up with the pace of change. And oh, by the way, it's a Chinese company selling those drones. The technology space is incredibly globalized in a way that it just wasn't 30 years ago. To gain access to the most innovative technologies, the Defense Department must break down self-imposed barriers to competition and shorten development timelines. If the United States is to remain a global military power, the Defense Department must respond to the challenges of today, embrace emerging technologies for the future, and reform its process for innovation. The present era of human development, the era of industrialization and digitization, has seen more rapid development of military technologies than any other period. History shows that new weapons such as the tank, submarine, or aircraft can lead to fundamental changes in warfare. The advantage has swung from the offense to the defense and back again. Traditional balance of power strategies have given way to deterrence and containment, which have transitioned to preventive presence. As with the introduction of Blitzkrieg, a new combination of tanks, aircraft, and radio communications in World War II, success today on the battlefield will not be found in wholly new weapons, but rather in existing technologies, such as unmanned platforms, directed energy, or electromagnetics, being combined, creating new doctrine and concepts of operation to create increased awareness and lethality. Experimentation, as always, will be the key to success in our future. The engine of innovation is not technology, but people. American warfighters, engineers, strategists, and policymakers working in concert to develop creative solutions to the challenges of today and tomorrow.